In this video, we're going to talk about missing files and uh, my recommended method for um, moving uh, your Lightroom files to a, another either machine or another um, drive. Okay, so here we have, over here, we have my downloads folder where I get all my students' pictures to send them to me by a Ween transfer. And after I've downloaded them, I tend to um, tidy up the uh, downloads folder by deleting things. So you can see here we've got loads of folders with a question mark beside them. This one doesn't have a question mark, and we've got some lovely pictures in here. If we click on the next one, it shows us what was in that Wii transfer, but it has this little exclamation mark beside each of them saying, I can't find them. So if we wanted to do major editing on these or print them, we wouldn't be able to because it would come back with the message file not found. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to move a folder to a new drive. And the thing is, this, this is a very small one, and I could just dra drag and drop this to my external SSD down here called T7Touch. But I want to demonstrate this quite quickly, but for you to use when you want to transfer all of your pictures over to a new either external SSD or over to a new computer. So what we do is we control click on this and we say um, show in finder. So it shows us where this folder is and it's this one here okay with all of our lovely DNGs in it okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that onto my S external SSD. So I've got one terabyte uh, Samsung T7 Touch drive over there. So if I just pick it up and drop it over here, within seconds it's done. Okay, But it's still on my original drive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rename this. And I'll call it Old George Prince. Okay? So now in Lightroom, if I now show you, can you see now it can't find George Krasowski prints so it's coming up with the message they're all missing so if I control click on this and say find missing folder up will come a normal operating system dialog box and if I navigate to T7 touch and I can see it here and I just say choose it removes it from the previous um, directory and downloads. See, it's gone from there, and it's now up here on the T7 Touch. And if I go in there, all of my pictures are there. Okay. So if, but if if we look back at the um, the old folder, I haven't actually deleted it. I haven't moved it or anything. So you're 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 guaranteed. To know that your files are still safe exactly where they are, all we've done is rename the folder. We've copied it to the external drive and we've renamed it here. So the Lightroom couldn't find it where it thought it should be. So we then told it where we've put it under the exactly the same name. So if you think of that being a top level, um, let's say a whole year's photographs. Let's show you that in Lightroom. Um, a whole year's worth of photographs. If I go in here. And you see we've got many subfolders within these year ones. So if I this this is what your folders would look like under normal circumstances on your existing machine, unless you've been telling Lightroom to do other things with it. Normally it stores it by year, by month, by date. So if you went in and you just found, let's say, let's find something with a lot of pictures in it. If you found this top level directory. You renamed it here and copied it onto your T7 Touch, or whatever your external hard drive is called. And then when you came back in, it would say, oh, I can't find these. You would control click on the missing ones and it would give you a dialog box. You navigate to where you've copied it to and you just click choose and it reconnects everything. OK, you can actually move things within Lightroom, but if you're doing it to thousands and thousands of pictures, it's very, very inefficient, whereas the operating system itself, by just dragging and dropping folders and reconnecting them, is much, much quicker. Okay, so that's how, generally speaking, I say you copy pictures 
over to a new drive. And it just means that then Lightroom knows exactly where they are. You're not having to rebuild catalogs, you're not having to rebuild databases, any of that kind of stuff. You've just basically told it to forget about it in one place because you renamed it. And then when you reconnected it, you reconnected it back to its correct name on the new drive. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to find some pictures that are just missing. So let's go down here to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We'll just do control show in finder. And I, I always like to do it directly from, from within Lightroom. So it takes me to where that instead of me thinking I, I've navigated to the right place in the um, finder, I prefer to get Lightroom to tell me here you are. So this is C David. So again, we're going to rename this. So I'm going to call it missing dash C dash David. So when I go back in here, suddenly we have the dreaded question mark again. And we have all of our um, exclamation marks saying, I don't know where this picture is. So, but because it's in the Lightroom catalog, we're able to see high res previews of it. We just can't get at the, the main picture. So if I try and go in here to develop, it's still showing me a high res picture. But if I try to, let's say, go to print, can you see how low res that is? I'm, I'm surprised it actually let me go in here without telling me the file was missing. But anyway, so you wouldn't print that because that's just ridiculous. On screen, it looks fine. As soon as you try and do anything where you need a lot of resolution, you're you're getting nowhere. Okay, so what we do is we go back into library, and if we just control click on this, um, da -da -da -da, we can actually no, sorry, let's just double click the exclamation mark. So it says this file could not be used because the original file could not be found. Would you like to locate it? And it tells you where its previous location was, which we already knew. So we do locate, and it's gone to that top level directory looking for it. So if I come down here and find missing, 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 there we go. So if I double click on that, go into that, and then there's the picture where, I can't remember which one I clicked on now, let's, let's assume it was, uh, no, I think it was that one, wasn't it? Let's do slit. So I've selected that one. And down here we have an options dialog box. And the great thing about this is you have a little tick box here, which I always say leave on, because it says find nearby missing photos. So if you've lost a whole folder, all of them will be showing as missing with the exclamation mark. If you have that ticked on here in options, when you connect one, it will reconnect all of them. So let's see if I've clicked on the right one. I need to pay more attention to this, but let's see if I clicked on the right one. The file blah, 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 has a different name. So what was I doing? So it was, uh, well, you select a different name. Right, so let's cancel that. And let's try and pay attention to what we're doing here. So this is one of four. So double click that. So it's one of four. It's definitely the first one. Click locate, click options, double check that find missing folders is ticked. We scroll down to missing. We select that one and we know it's uh, ticked. So if I click on that now. So there's nothing in this folder, but it's now linked us to this folder with the new name, missing dash C dash David. And you can see that they're all there. So if I now go into print on that, look at that, full res picture, happy days, we're able to print. So when searching for pictures, so long as you still have the original and you know where it is, you can relink it. And the beauty is if, if a whole folder's gone missing and you find that folder, you only have to tick on one of them and it will relink all the rest. Alrighty, so... The, the, the main thing is to remember, try and do as much as you can file-wise, moving things, renaming things within Lightroom so it doesn't get confused. Because you saw, as soon as I renamed those folders outside Lightroom, Lightroom immediately went, hey, up, I don't know where they are. Um, 
so so yeah so avoid doing stuff outside lightroom except the one that i suggested earlier which is if you're moving masses amounts of files you're better off letting the operating system do the copy for you and then you just repoint at that new folder having renamed the old one okay and then once you've done that and you're happy it's worked you can start deleting the old ones and that's what I do. I just put old in front of it. So it's very easy for me to spot the ones I need to get rid of. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. And we'll see you on the next video. Enjoy.